The Cloak of Wishes. Give this magical cloak to the first person you see sad and miserable. So the fairy flew all over the world, and suddenly, just outside the city of Noland, she met Fluff. <laughs> Why are you crying? I miss my parents. Who are no longer there. I cannot bring your parents back, but I can give you this. This is a magical cloak. It will grant its wearer one wish. If you give the cloak willingly to someone, or if anyone accidentally borrows it, then the cloak will grant each such person one wish. Can I make my wish now? Yes, but be wise. Thank you. I wish that no matter what happens in my life, may I always remain happy and wise. This is indeed a wonderful wish. I am proud of you. Fluff began to feel happy. What are you so happy about? Come on, or we'll never reach No Land. Hey, what's up with you? And what is that? Shh. A fairy gave this magical cloak to me. Fluff told her brother all about the cloak. A few hours later, they reached the city of Noland. In a single line, please. It's very important. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Will you let me use the cloak? Of course, but be wise with what you want. Thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. In a single file, please. Forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-seven, forty-seven. What is going on? Your Highness, hail the new king of No Land! Hail the new king of No Land! Please mount this chariot, Your Highness. And you might be? She is my sister Fluff. Welcome to No Land, Princess Fluff. Hail Princess Fluff! Hail Princess Fluff! In the palace, the counselors explained the matter to them. Your Highness, I am your General Tollydob, and he is the Royal Treasurer Tallydib, and he is the Law Enforcer Tillydib. Our old king passed away without an heir. As per law, the 47th person entering No Land on the third day after the king's passing, no matter who he or she is, should be made the king and carry out the king's duties. You were the 47th person to enter the gates of No Land. But I can't be king. My sister Fluff is wiser than I. Make her the queen. She was the 46th person to enter, and you were the 47th. We cannot break the law. But... It is okay to be the king and order people around. But duties of the king? That sounds like too much. Consider it as payment. Meaning? Remember what father used to say? Nothing good comes without a cost. You want to enjoy being the king. You have to pay by doing the duties of a king. Hmm. Promise me you will help me? Of course I will. And what about that mean aunt of ours? Shall we send her to prison? Bud! She might be strict and even mean at times, but she took care of us when we needed her to. She deserves a place with us now in our good times. <sighs> Fine. So Bud and Fluff learned how to rule the kingdom. And of course, they had all the toys and games they could have ever wanted, so they quite forgot about their magical cloak. One day... Fluff, I want to go out, and I don't have a nice enough cloak to wear. Would you lend me one of yours? Surely, take whichever you like. Oh! 
Of course, Aunt Rivette did not know that she was wearing the magic cloak. She went into the bazaar, which was really crowded. Oh, this crowd! I wish I could just fly over all of them! Whoa! Whoa! Help! Help! Ha! 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 I am flying! Woohoo! I am flying! The news of their aunt flying reached Bud and Fluff. Oh! I accidentally lent her my magic cloak. Aunt Rivette! Are you all right? Oh, I am fine. I loved it. I can fly. Woohoo! <laughs> Counselor, are you going in the presence of the king and princess? Yes, my lady. Then please give this cloak to Fluff and thank her for me. Yes. Jicky, do you know where the king and the princess are? I think they were in the garden, sir. Thank you. Hmm, they're not here. Oh, what a beautiful apple. Eh, eh, I wish I could just extend my arm and get whatever I wanted. Eh, what? Err. Stop it, stop it. How much you run. <gasps> I wish you would speak like a human. Then I'd know what you say. I'm running for you. You need the exercise, not I. Did, 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 did you j j j just speak? Yes. I, 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 I am tired. Everyone coming to me with bills and bills and bills and more bills. There's hardly any money left in this purse. Oh, I wish the royal treasury would always remain full no matter how much money was pulled out of it. Oh! What? You can't catch me, Fluff. Wait a minute. That is my magical cloak. Did Aunt Revet just leave it here? How careless. I will lock this cloak in my silver drawer and keep the key around my neck. Under the able rule of Princess Fluff and King Bud, the loyalty of the counselors and the treasury that remained full, the people of Noland could build new businesses, send their goods far and wide, and soon everybody was happy and rich. News of the unusual king and princess with their magical cloak reached the Queen Zixi of Ix. She wanted the magical cloak, so she attacked the kingdom of Noland. The war was easy for Noland because... I wish to pick up every general of Queen Zixi's army and take them prisoner. Uh, what? Sorcery! And my little dog can go and spread panic there! You're going to lose! Who said that? Who said that? Go away, or the Devils of the Magic Cloak will attack you! The, the Devils, devils of, of the Magic, magic Cloak will attack us! Run! 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 Sadly, Queen Zixi traveled back to her kingdom. Why are you both crying? <laughs> because I want that nest. 
Why do you want that nest? Because I don't have it. And you? I want that pearl. Why? Because I don't have it. Aren't you both foolish? No. We're not the only ones who want something just because somebody else has it. I just heard of a queen who went to war to get something she doesn't need just because she doesn't have it. Queen Zixi realized how silly she had been. She went back to her kingdom and started ruling as wisely and justly as she did before. But King Bud and Princess Fluff were to face their biggest trouble yet. One day... Hey, do you see that? A great land. Let us go there and conquer it. The Roly Rogues rolled all the way down the mountain and bounced right into the kingdom of No Land. They were gigantic and mean. They captured everyone in No Land and ransacked shops and homes. cannot be fought. They cannot be captured. The magic cloak. Yes. Ooh, run. We can't get the cloak. I can fly you both out of here. We can't leave our people during a crisis. But if we're caught, our people stand no chance. Come on. Is there anyone we can ask for help? How about asking Queen Zixi of Ix? Aunt Rivette flew them straight into the palace of Ix, where they met the queen. We are sorry we defeated you. It was my fault that I wanted your magical cloak. Oh, for that you didn't have to wage a war with us. I would have gladly lent it to you, your highness. Thank you. How mean and foolish of me. Give this potion to the cook in No Land and tell him to put in the soup for the Roly Rogues three days from now. Surely. Aunt Rivette flew back to No Land and did as was told. Three days later, when the rowdy Roly Rogues were given the potion in their soup, they all fell fast asleep for 10 hours. In the meantime, Queen Zix, Bud and Fluff, and the army of Ix threw the sleeping Roly Rogues into the river. They won't drown because of their rubbery bodies, and the river will lead them to an island far away where they can harm no one. Would you like to make a wish, Queen Zixi? We always want what others have just because we don't have it. This makes us trouble ourselves and others. It is foolish. So no, I do not want a wish. And you, bud, have you not wished yet? We have everything we need, Fluff, but I too never want to be foolish. I wish that Fluff and I always rule with perfect justice and wisdom. And so it came to be. No one ever used the magical cloak again. Everyone was sensible and so everyone was happy. If all we ever wanted was wisdom, so many troubles in this world would be over, wouldn't they? <laughs>